I talk about side hustles a lot on this channel and the reason is is because I truly believe down to my core that side hustles are the best way to grow your wealth quickly. But I also understand that though side hustles are a great way to grow your wealth, they also aren't for everyone. And there are a lot of people that just simply aren't interested in pursuing a side gig or a side hustle. Some people may not be interested in pursuing a side hustle either because they have kids, they don't have enough time, or they may just simply not be interested in pursuing it for whatever personal reason. But just because somebody isn't interested in having a side gig doesn't mean that somebody isn't interested in making extra money. Because let's face it, everybody is interested in making extra money. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about just that. I'm gonna be breaking down five ways that you can make extra money without dedicating any time, any money, and there is no background experience required. If you're somebody who's interested in making some extra cash by doing virtually nothing extra, this video is for you. So let's get started. So the very first method that I wanna talk about is points credit cards. Now credit card points and the huge benefits that come along with these, this is something that a lot of people talk about. In fact, there are blogs and YouTube channels dedicated solely to this subject. But if you're somebody who isn't taking advantage of credit card points as of today in February of 2022, well, you are truly missing out and I highly encourage you to look into this. With credit card points, you can have access to a wide variety of different programs with absolutely massive perks. For example, you can get a credit card with hotel points like the Hilton Honors American Express card. You can get a credit card for airline points like the Citibank American Airlines A Advantage credit card, or you can get a credit card that offers points that can be redeemed for anything you want, like the Chase Sapphire Preferred card. Now these credit card points accumulate really, really quickly. And the best part is you don't have to do anything in order to get these points to start coming. All you have to do is use your credit cards as if you normally would. For example, in my case, I do 100% of my spending on credit cards for both my business and my personal life. And then at the end of the month, I simply pay off the credit card balance in full. By doing this, I've been able to accumulate hundreds of thousands of hotel and airline points. In fact, HP and I are going to the UK in March and we are doing this with 100% of our points, meaning the trip is virtually free. In fact, I was recently reading an article that stated that couples that get divorced, them arguing over who gets their credit card points is something that is becoming a more common occurrence and it actually causes a lot of legal battles because points have so much value. If you aren't taking advantage of these points, you are truly missing out and you're missing out on a really passive and easy way to make some extra cash. But before we move on to number two on this list, if you guys could do me a huge favor and if you could hit the like button and hit the notification bell for the YouTube algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. This helps my channel grow because it helps that YouTube know that you guys are enjoying my content and thus YouTube pushes my content out to a new audience. So if you could do that, I would greatly appreciate it. Now with that out of the way, let's move on to number two on this list, which is a high yield savings account. Now, almost all of us have some sort of checking account. Most of us have some sort of savings, but the one type of account that oftentimes gets slept on is the high yield savings account. Basically what a high yield savings account is, is it's a bank or should I say savings account that pays you a higher interest compared to traditional savings accounts. So it'll pay you a higher interest rate in order to keep your money into that account. So while most traditional savings account pay you about a fraction of a percent for you to park your money in their savings accounts, for example, Chase bank pays about 0.01% in their savings account, meaning that you will earn 0.01% interest rate on all of the money that you put into a Chase savings. But on the other hand, a high yield savings account can pay anywhere between 0.5%. Sometimes in some odd cases, it can pay as high as 1% interest rate. So in that case, if you were to park your money into a high yield savings account, rather than getting paid 0.01% on the money that you've parked there, you'll get paid half a percent or in some cases higher. Now there are a lot of different high yield savings accounts out there. Most of them are online and that's part of the reason why they're able to accomplish these higher rates because of the fact that it's online banking, meaning it's a little bit lower cost and more traditional brick and mortar banking. For example, I use Affirm, which is an online bank and they pay an interest rate of 0.65%. Barclays Bank pays a rate of 0.5%, Alliant pays a rate of 0.55%, and there are a lot of other ones to choose from. In my experience, most are the same, it's just the interest rate that differs. 
Now, of course, a high yield savings account will never make you rich, but it truly is one of the only forms of 100% passive income. And if you park enough money in there, then the interest will really start racking up quickly. This isn't gonna be something that's gonna get you a Lamborghini, but it is something that will give you truly passive income. And because of that, I certainly think it's something to take advantage of. Number three on this list is one that I truly think that people specifically in your 20s or in even some cases 30, 40s, 50s, and 60s are not taking advantage of as you should. And if you're not taking advantage of this, then you are truly missing out on free money. And that is company matching programs. Now, if you work a nine to five, chances are your company you work for may offer some sort of 401k matching program. And if you're not aware of whether or not your company offers this, I would highly encourage you to check into it with HR. And if you're somebody that does work for a company that offers this and you're not taking advantage of it, then I highly encourage you to do so. What company matching means, at least in relation to a 401k, is that your company will match your contributions to your 401k up to a certain amount based off of a percentage of your salary. Now, the exact details of a 401k matching program are definitely up to the discretion of the company, and the details will differ quite a lot from company to company. But for example's sake, let's say that your company offers 100% matching up to 5% of your annual salary. Well, in this example, you make $100,000 per year. So let's say that you contribute $5,000 annually to your 401k. Well, $5,000 equates to 5% of your annual salary. So that means that your employer now also has to contribute 5% to your 401k. This is essentially $5,000 of free money that has been contributed to your retirement account on your behalf. In the same example where your company does 100% matching up to 5%, if you were to contribute $4,000, your company would also contribute $4,000 but that also means that $1,000 was left on the table because of the fact that you didn't take advantage of the full 5%. You only took advantage of 4%. And then one last example to fully get the point across, let's say that you contributed $6,000 to your 401k. In this example, your employer would only contribute 5,000 because it is up to 5%. So the max that they would contribute if you were making $100,000 per year would be $5,000. If you don't take advantage of company matching programs and if you don't use them to their fullest extent, you are truly leaving money on the table and you are in a way giving yourself a pay deduction because your employer has taken company match funds into account when hiring you and determining how much they're going to pay you. And if you're not taking advantage of this, then you're truly missing out. Number four on this list is to save money. Now I know what you guys are thinking, saving money isn't making money, but I actually disagree. I think that if you can save in a passive way, I definitely think that it trickles down. It can have the same effect of making more money. Now, I've never been much of a coupon person. In fact, I think the amount of times that I've used a coupon in my adult life, I can probably count on one hand. It's never been appealing to me. It's always been too tedious and I've just simply never been interested in it. I am more of a coupon person if it's something that can be implemented really easily with virtually no work from me. And that's the exact type of money saving hack that I have for you now. Honey is one really great example of a very passive way that you can start saving a lot of money. What Honey is, is it's a Chrome extension that you install onto your browser. And then whenever you're online shopping, it automatically detects what you're buying and then it suggests certain coupon codes. Then based off of those coupon codes, they automatically run. And if there's one that is applicable and active, it will then give you that coupon code, which thus saves you money. Now I will admit probably 50% of the time, Honey doesn't find a coupon code that works with what I'm wanting to buy. But the other 50% of the time, Honey works amazingly and has saved me probably thousands of dollars over the years. Honey is just one example, but there are a lot of different examples out there that do something similar. These really passive, really easy to use rewards program. For example, Kroger is another great one that I use really frequently. If you shop at Kroger, you get rewards off of gas. And if you accumulate enough points, then they'll take money off of the per gallon cost of your gas. And I very regularly, probably once every two months or so, get a dollar per gallon off of my gas, which for my 1997 Forerunner, that's pretty big. Now, again, I'm not a fan of coupons. I'm not a fan of like scouring the internet for coupon codes because I'm a firm believer that if you spend a lot of time looking for coupons, then the amount of money you're saving is kind of irrelevant because you spent so much time finding those savings. But if you're somebody that can implement these really easy to use programs like Honey, like Kroger Rewards, like these types of rewards programs at restaurants, then you can really start to accumulate a lot of savings, which can make a big dent in your budget. Last but certainly not least is affiliate links. Now this is one of my favorite passive income streams and it's something that I think far too many people sleep on because of the fact that affiliate links kind of have a connotation with it, that you have to have an audience
payments in order to make any substantial income. Now, what an affiliate link is, is it's basically whenever you become an affiliate for a product or service, meaning you are kind of an ambassador to something that is being sold. To give you an example of an affiliate link, if you scroll down to my description below, you'll see like a handful of affiliate links. These are all companies that I enjoy, that I stand by. And if you were to click on any one of these links and make a purchase, I would make a small commission. Now, affiliate links are pretty commonplace in the world of social media. Most social media influencers have affiliate links and affiliate relationships with companies, product services. I have them and almost every other social media person has them as well. But where I think people are sleeping on affiliate links is just your normal everyday person that may or may not have a social media following. How many times has somebody asked you for a recommendation? How many times has somebody asked you where you bought something or where you went for some sort of vacation or activity? I'm sure it happens a lot because it happens to me a lot and I don't even have that many friends. So this is something that you can absolutely take advantage of. You can keep a log of all of your favorite products and services in your phone. You can then do research on these programs, companies, brands, and you can see if they offer affiliate marketing. Then you join their affiliate program, you'll get a customer custom link that is unique to you. And then you can keep that link in your phone so that next time somebody asks you for a recommendation or they ask you where you purchase something, you can say, yeah, let me send you a link. You send them your exclusive link. And then whenever they make a purchase, you make some money. Now, the way that you can find these types of affiliate programs is you can simply Google whatever your company you're looking for and then Google affiliate program. For example, I'm an affiliate of Outdoorsy. So the way that I became an affiliate was I just Googled Outdoorsy affiliate program. And you oftentimes will find what you're looking for in that case. Another great place to look for for affiliate programs is in the footer of websites. Oftentimes, if a website has an affiliate program, it will be in that footer menu. So those are two really great places to start. And if all else fails, you can always reach out to the company directly and see if they have any sort of program that you could join. At the end of the day, making extra money isn't just about grinding to make an extra $100 to $200 per day. And making extra money could be as simple as just implementing easy passive income streams that make you an extra $5 to $10 per day. Making an extra $5 to $10 per day adds up really, really quickly, and it can make a huge difference in your life. So if you're somebody who's interested in making money without implementing more work in your life, then these income streams are definitely ones that I would add to your income arsenal. Like always, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, if you have anything to add, I would love to hear it. So make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.